Jeff and Matt Albert hanging out with me here on Feel the Spin. Out Q, Sirius 109, XM 98, and his album is called Hide Nothing. And it, it's, a, it's a lovely collection of songs um, that are not just about uh, boys, although boys are all over the record in some fashion or another. So um, whatever happened to that first boyfriend? Um, he recently sent me a message on Facebook, actually. Yeah? Yeah, he lives in Seattle. Um, his name's Scott. And, Does, is, uh, it, is it one of those, like, damn, I shouldn't have... Uh, no, it was just, it was exactly what it was supposed to be. Yeah? He was very sweet to me, and, and uh, you know, I really needed that, so... That's really nice. Yeah. That's really, really nice. And so, when did you find out within yourself that you were going to make music as, a, as your life's work? Um, I think it was the the first night I did a choir performance. I was nine years old. I'd moved to St. Louis, and I joined the St. Louis Children's Choirs. And then I became, I went from being a kid who just sang at home while he was doing his chores to a kid who was discovering what it was to really make music with a group of folks. And Ethelyn Sparfeld was my director, and uh, she taught me how to love to sing. And that first night, and we, we were singing... Uh, a Japanese folk song called Sakura, which means cherry blossoms. And we took that song to Japan when I was 10 years old, and I got to sing with little Japanese kids who had learned, you know, an American folk song. And I thought, wow, this is what music can do. And I, that's it sold me. You never looked back. Yeah. And so when when you write songs, you said you did, you did this entire album, Hide Nothing, in your bedroom. How, how do your songs come to life? Do you start with a story and you think, okay, I'm going to address this with some music, or are you fiddling and coming up with uh, some melody? How does it work? Um, usually, usually it's not happening behind a piano. Usually it's while I'm walking around or in, in a cab or in a car and, and uh, a melody will come, you know. And so I start with a melody and I like to try to, uh, I feel like the rhythm of speech should fit the melody, so, uh, so I kind of wrestle with lyrics for a while to try not to force them in. Um, and then I just try to be open to what's around me in terms of instruments, you know, because I don't, I didn't play all the instruments on the record, like, I don't know how to play banjo, but Charlie does, and Charlie plays at the park around the corner from me for all the kids on the weekends, and so I was out there having a picnic, and I said, I gotta meet that guy, because I think Monarch could really use a banjo at the beginning, and I went and introduced myself, and later that night he was over at my apartment with his banjo and his crazy little mustache, and <laughs> so <laughs> I was like, hey, you know, if you try to do it all yourself, I think you, you really miss the boat. Absolutely. So so now that the album is done, what are you hoping for yourself? Uh, I hope these songs take me all around the world. Yeah. I want to go and sing them for people. <laughs> uh, I want to work with students. Uh, hopefully I'll get to work with string quartets around the country and colleges, send my, send my parts ahead of time, and instead of breezing through town and just you know, singing on their stage, uh, it'd be nice to make music with them. So uh, that's one of the things I want to do. And so are you the kind of uh, artist who is um, always writing, or are these? Uh, are, are you concentrating on these songs, and then when you're done with these songs, you'll start writing a new batch? Well, uh, there's always some in the, in the hopper. Yeah. Um, but what's funny is that they never seem to sound the same. Like, I just, uh, the other night I was uh, singing at uh, South Street Deep, South Street Seaport, that's hard to say, uh, for Kevin Spacey. <laughs> they were honoring Kevin Spacey, who Gene O'Neill was, and I had this song in the drawer for years. It was a jazz tune, like a, kind of like a Chet Baker song called Believe Me. And uh, I'd never got to perform it, and I thought, hey, here's my chance. I'm performing with the Juilliard Swing Combo, and we're doing Bobby Darin songs, and I'm going to toss one of my own in the mix. And oh, uh, very good. It was, it was really, it was great. Yeah. Well, good for you. Good for you. There's some, obviously some great things still ahead in your life, which is... It's nice to to uh, have you here uh, right. early on in, in your Well, I really appreciate journey. it, man. It's nice to talk with you. Matt Albert's album is called Hide Nothing, and now you're in for a treat because he's going to go in the other room. See that nice pretty piano over there? we got a nice big piano all set up for Matt. He's going to play some songs for you from his album Hide Nothing. Make sure you get your hands on the on this album. It's really very, very special. So, uh you going to go in there and play first now? I've been, I've been dying to. All right, well, well uh, in just a couple of seconds... Some live music right here in Field of Spin by Matt Albert.